So in this video, I want to do a comparison of two very minimalist, very tiny ballpoint pens. One is called the Tombow Zoom 707, and this one has been around for a long time. Uh, I wouldn't know, one wouldn't say it's iconic, but it's definitely very popular and you see pictures of it all the time. And the other is the newer sort of replacement for it or newer version, it's hard to say, but it's called the Tombow Zoom 727. So the top one is the 707, it's been around forever. The bottom is the newer 727. It's very easy to confuse the two, but uh, kind of interesting, I thought it'd be interesting to compare them. So the Zoom 707 is very, very tiny, very minimalist, probably the smallest pencil or pen, it's also sold as a pencil, but sold, smallest pen or pencil that I could think of. Uh, you know, there's a couple other ones, the Pilot Birdie and a few others, but when you think of a really, really tiny pen or pencil that will fit into a notebook or something or an actual book, like a hardcover book that you can close on the pen, this is really the main one. It's super portable, all metal construction. And again, it's been around forever. So it's, you know, it's gonna be at least okay. It sells for about 20 bucks, maybe 25, depending on who you buy it from. And uh, the newer version of this is called this. This is the Tombow Zoom 727. It's definitely bigger, wider here throughout the barrel, wider at the tip, uh, different mechanism, which we'll get into in a second, but very similar. Still has this sort of baffolding here, the red on the red. It's sold in uh, all black or all silver. I bought it in the silver, just so I thought it'd be a nice change of pace. This one is sold, again, and you could buy it with a silver barrel or with the black. I bought the black. And it does have a logo here and all that. You could just make it out. So it's actually like a black on black, not just a black barrel with no logos at all. So uh, let's get into the actual comparisons between the two because uh, while I will explain the both, I think the most interesting thing is what's the difference between the 707 and the 727, aside from just the fact that one is newer. The 727, I will say, is also about the same price, but you don't see as many deals on it as you do the 707, just because it is newer. The 727, I think, will cost you about $25 right now. And you could find it on like Amazon, eBay, and all those places, or you can go direct to a uh, Tombow dealer if you could find one. So really quickly, the 707, I don't know how old it is, but I'll put some notes at unsharpened.com. It is a twist ballpoint. So I know it has a baffled here. So you think like, oh, obviously you would just push it. And I think probably when most people buy this, the first thing they do is push it and they assume it's broken because nothing happens when you push it. But if you twist it, you'll see the tip extend. Metal clip, the red plastic ball at the end, metal body. This piece is actually a very hard rubber. So it is rubberized, but it doesn't have any give, it's rubber. Uh, quite skinny, so it's not easy to write with this, but you can write with it. You can remove this metal front piece and you could see there's a little refill in here. It is rather hard to get at, but if you extend the tip and you pull it, we'll see here it's uh, a D1 refill, so a standard size multi-pen refilled called the D1, and it's a, a BR-VS Tombow metal refill. It just friction fits in there, and I haven't worked, it hasn't been an issue about that friction wearing out. So that's the Zoom 707. The Zoom 20, 727 moves to a more modern design. It's a lot heavier because it has a full metal barrel here that is wider than the uh, 707, it has the, has dropped all the rubber. So the rubber right here, it is now rather all metal. So uh, that's a pretty big change. I think the metal is nicer, but it's probably more expensive to produce. So rubber on the 707, all metal here. Different tip, this is a conical tapered tip. This one has a sort of old school uh, end piece that looks a little bit like a, uh, you know, like an end of a rotary ring or something like that. Same metal clip. Because this one's silver, we could see the logos. Both are made in Japan, I forgot to mention that. This one is a push. That's the biggest difference. So you can't twist this, you can push it. To get at the refill, you twist it here. 
this whole front piece comes off and we could reveal that Tombow refill. And this one again is a D1 refill. It's the BRVS. So basically the same refill there, both ballpoints, metal bodies, stuff like that. Anyway, you can put any D1 refill in here. It's pretty standard size. Some are a little wider and some are narrower. So you might have to hunt around for a Japanese one, but any Japanese D1 should fit. Both of them have, if you pull back these baffles, this one's hard to get at, uh, and then it's made into the top. You can see, Let's see if we could focus in on that, it's so tiny. The baffling, the, this like spring baffled, whatever you wanna call it, is made into the top. So I feel like eventually it will break and it's hard to get off the bottom here. It's not made into it, but I don't wanna rip it. But basically it's one piece at the top. On the 707, it's not stuck to the top and it's not stuck to the bottom. So a lot of times it's kind of like that. It's like sitting a little bit askew and you can kind of see through. It just looks a little bit messy. Again, for that to be a problem, you have to be uh, pretty particular about your pens and pencils, but I definitely have noticed that it doesn't sit perfectly all the time. One of the nice things about the fact that it is not seated is that you could see inside there's all metal hardware. So uh, there's no plastic here. It's a, it's a nice a nicely manufactured and machined piece of steel. At least I'm pretty sure it's steel. So just gives me a little bit of confidence that like the $20 I put in this pen is actually uh, going somewhere. So big differences. We have the old 707, the new 727. 727 is wider, 707 is thinner. 707 has a rubber grip. 727 is all metal. I think the 727 looks a lot cooler, even though it is a fair bit heavier. Same clip on both. And then the number one biggest difference of them all is you have a twist versus a push. I don't see any reason in any way that the twist is better. It's a, it's a tiny little piece to fiddle around with. At the end, it doesn't lock. You just push it and push it back. It doesn't move on its own. I will say it's it doesn't necessarily need a lock, but it should have a lock just so it doesn't, you know, you don't put it in your bag for a couple days and have it twist out a little bit. It should have a lock on each side. It doesn't. The clip, uh, sorry, the click is a, is a really firm click, which is kind of hurts your hand a little bit uh, because you have to push it and the, the ball at the end is so tiny, but uh, that's a pretty minor problem. So between the two, I would always prefer a click over a twist. Twist can be a little bit difficult to do with one hand. You have to like manipulate the pen and move it around. It's not that easy. As far as the skinnier or smaller of the two, it's definitely the 707. This one has basically nothing for the barrel. This is thinner than a drinking straw by a fair bit. It's like a coffee straw almost. Uh, and then it gets to, uh, I don't know the exact measurements. I'll put them on on sharpen.com, but this is a half inch. So it's less than a quarter inch, which is less than half of a half inch. Uh, it's like, I don't know, like uh, three sixteenths of an inch. Again, I'll put, the, I'll put the actual measurements on on sharpen.com where you can check that out. So you'll know the, the width of each of the components. So I think now we have a pretty good understanding of the two. They're both really nicely made. Both have almost entirely metal hardware, aside from the baffles, the tip of the, uh, the knock or whatever, and then the grip on the 707. Uh, this 727 is a fair bit heavier and uh, I think a lot better looking. I prefer the click, but it will cost you a little bit more, maybe 25 for this versus a street price of like 20 or 18 for the 707, just because there's a lot higher chance you could find them used or on sale. So between the two, I would definitely recommend the 727. I think it's a lot more comfortable. It's a little bit wider and that width goes with you so that you have a little bit more to write with. It kind of feels like a skinny, normal pencil, whereas this it feels like you're writing with, sorry, sorry, skinny, normal pen, whereas this feels like you're just pinching, uh, you know, a toothpick or something like that and trying to write with it. it. It is challenging to write with, whereas this one is skinny, but not like problematically skinny. And then the refills are, they're completely fine. It's a nice Tombow, Japanese ballpoint refill. So this is the seven, the Z727. Uh, 
27 ballpoint. And then here we have the Z707 ballpoint. They both write the same. One doesn't write better than the other because it's the same refill. I do find the 727 to be, for me, a fair bit more comfortable. I like the extra weight. And when you put it into, uh, you put it into a book, I don't have a hardcover book with me. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. Like is the 707 larger than the 720, uh, sorry, is the 707 skinnier than 727? Yes, definitely. But uh, we're only talking a, uh, at the widest point, which is what matters, you're talking like not even a millimeter. The two are essentially the same. It's more about the width here. So for what matters, the two are fundamentally the same and you gotta pick on what's more comfortable and what has the uh, better mechanism. So I would definitely recommend the 727 over the 707. But if you want the lightest, most minimalist, most stripped down pencil possible, then you can go ahead for the 707. It is essentially a design icon at this point. So that should about cover it. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching.